Salam Salam. This is Unity, and I'm here to do a Unity moment. I wanted to do this video because over the last, I say, month or so, this it has been a slight issue. Um, over the years, I have did videos to show y'all how to make hand paint earrings. Um, yeah, I have mainly did videos. I also do what I call creating videos. Videos that I might show y'all a little bit of process of me creating one of my pieces that I sell to make a living for. And within the last month or so, it's been happening for a while. I've been doing earrings for 10 years now, but it's been happening for a while. But within the last month or so, people been literally copying my work. Um, at first, I was going to stop doing the creating videos. And I think a couple of times I said create alone, but they're not create alone. They're just showing you most of the time if it's a wholesale order that I got in, which is not my, which are not my, um, my designs. I know I did one with respect my flyness. That is not my design. That is Tony Grant design. And, um... Even though I sell that particular design on my website, but me and her, we have a business um, situation with that. But with the create videos, I do not do not give permission for people to copy those. The thing about the internet, I know the internet, when we see stuff on the internet, we think it's okay to copy. We think it's... Um, you on YouTube. I know I remember for instance, I know I'm all over the place with this video, but I'm trying to be really cool because I had a couple of people contact me once they found out. I mean they was duplicating my work. Um oh I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I remember a sister contact me. No, I contact her because she was duplicating my work. And I told her, you know, she was like, well, I, I got it off the internet. And I told her, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was another artist that I knew. That that we don't work together a couple of times. And when I was on this sister Etsy page, I noticed that she was copying this sister artwork on some earrings. And I had act, told her that that was a sister. Because the crazy part, I had a pair of the earrings that she was copying and I knew she wasn't an artist because I know the artist. So I contact the artist and let her know, you know, because people do that to me all the time. And the sister said, well, I thought, you know, that you can do that. But since it was, you know, online, I thought we can do, we can copy if it was online. And the sister was saying, um... You know, she she couldn't do it. But anyway, they, they handled that situation. I just did what I did. But anyway, let me get back to my train of thought. The reason why I'm doing this video, because like I say, within a month, um, people been literally copying my create videos. I put some create videos in the bo in the um, description box below. And then I will put some of my D DIY videos. My DIY videos, y'all could duplicate them. Y'all could sell them. Y'all could recreate them. And y'all, y'all, that is when I make the DIY videos. Those are for y'all. Those are for y'all to make money off of, to learn, to so and so, so and so. I even have a video to show um oh wow it's crazy i even have a video that's showing y'all all my i don't know i'm getting a little emotional i guess because i give so much this is a passion for me i've been doing this for 10 10 years and I, it was a vision so i give so much i, I got a video that's showing y'all the products that y'all can get y'all can use to start your own businesses and people still steal and i know um i didn't know i was gonna get emotional but this is the way i make my living and i ain't gonna lie i haven't done a video in two weeks and i didn't i didn't do the video in two weeks it wasn't about 
this situation i didn't do the video in tweets because i've been really busy with a lot of projects and getting ready for some events and orders and stuff like that but I could just do YouTube videos and I don't have to show y'all nothing, but I do these videos because I know I'm not going to be on the earth for long, so I try to pass on. But if you, if a person go to my website and copy every little thing that I do and then sell it for cheaper, it's taken away from me. I did a video about Rachel Stewart. Um, I put that in the description box also and how the Asian people um what that site is uh i can't think of the site right now if i think of it but they i can't think of that site that cheap site that everybody always buy from but they was duplicating her work and she was like it's to the point that she's going to have to stop doing what she's doing because when i first started doing hand painted earrings 10 years ago it wasn't really no one online doing them like that. Not the way I was doing it. It was a few, but it wasn't not like I was doing. I got this. This came to me in a vision. Literally came to me in a vision. And, you know, we human and we don't want nobody to copy our work. You feel some type of way. You feel some type of way, but I learned sometimes people don't know. And sometimes people do know. Some people do know and they say, well, I'm I'm going to do what she do. It's crazy because we all have our own fingerprints. And no one can do what I do because I'm me. No matter how much they copy, I'm me. To, to make a long story short, when I do my create, create videos, they are for to just show y'all I'm creating this. There's a lot of artists on YouTube that draw do speed drawing do time lapse just to sh show y you know their skills and their talents but it's not for no one to um recreate and steal so the reason i'm doing this video and i'm trying to be very humble because um within the last month or so this issue been coming up and i received an email tonight from one of my viewers and she was beautiful and she was real humble and she was sorry um i didn't know that she did it it was another sister that i had talked to on instagram and she had did some of my um afro lady dui rings that is what y'all can do y'all can them them particular videos y'all can take those and y'all can um Sell them, whatever, whatever. But I was looking at her page and I seen some of my earrings. And I'm like, wow. That the, that particular video that's on YouTube never said, you need this, you do this, you do this. Those particular earrings were for a, um, a model. Mac had put a black model on their, I can't remember, a campaign or something. And she had purple lips and that's why I said in those particular earrings um I think I put black is dope and uh, melanin on fleek because people was pissed because a dark skin model um was on the matte campaign so those was inspired by that we can inspire a person but n never duplicate someone's work especially when you're an artist especially an artist that has a passion and especially an artist that got a vision from the universe from the divine to do this my artwork is healing now i don't have to do the diy videos i like showing people um how to make stuff and i know when people see my earrings some you know people that's creative they be like oh i want to make that so that's why i do those videos that's why at one time I was doing the earring classes, business classes to show people that didn't even know how to draw to make it. So what I came up with, you know, pondering over this, because like I say, we, and I know this video probably all over the place and hopefully y'all get what I'm saying, but we, um, oh, let me go back to this for a minute. 
the sister on Instagram, she told me that she was sorry and she didn't know when she was going to take the video. I mean, the um, earrings down. And, you know, the Afro earrings. Any earring that you see that say DIY, do it yourself, how to do. I don't care what y'all do. Y'all could sell them. Y'all could make them as gifts. Even my fabric earrings. I showed y'all how to make my fabric earrings. And that was my first time ever making them. And a lot of people thank me for that. So what I what I'm going to do now because it is messing with my money to a point that people are duplicating and I'm, I don't, I mean the sister, one, the sister, the email that came today, the sister told me that she was mimicking my work. She didn't know she was sorry and she didn't really sell that many and so on, so, so on. So thank you for being so honest, beloved. And I don't see your comments, um, before and your name. So thank you. So she told me that she was very sorry. Shout out to you for um, being honest. The other sister too. Thank you for um, being honest too. There's a lot of people. I mean, I don't have spider in my comments say I know somebody that copy all your work and they sell it. And they don't sell it online, but they sell it. Some, so this has been going on for a long, long time. So I will continue to do D, D do-it-yourself videos. But I will continue to um, do do-it-yourself videos. But I will. I'm gonna have to start not charging for the do-it-yourself, but I'm gonna start charging for some do-it-yourself. I have some do-it-yourself videos that I'm gonna start charging on YouTube for. Um. And they're not going to be expensive. Some of them will. Some of them won't. And I will start my hand-painted earring class again locally and online. And that is kind of expensive. But it will be something that you can make a living from. So this is the only option that I got to sustain of doing videos um, on YouTube when I started my YouTube channel my YouTube channel was all about my art all about my earrings and I'm I'm not going to stop it right now you know with YouTube you got to pull away but I like YouTube I like Instagram I'm not a big Facebook person um eventually my Facebook is going to be gone um it's not benefiting my business like it used to and then it's just a whole bunch of neg negativity it's, it's um but all the other social medias can be too but it's what we um i just i'm not feeling facebook like that too much no more even though i know instagram is owned by facebook but back to that yeah so i'm going to start um putting videos up and them videos will be way more better than the diys that i have on my channel they will be more professional and um, you will learn so much more and I'm going to have to charge for those. So look out for them within the next couple of months. They will be on there. You will see the price. You will see all that. So when you get those videos, y'all can do what y'all want to do with them. Y'all done pay for the information. So it be it. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to say this. We have to be careful about using people, like I say, logos, designs, and all that online because a lot of times, even slangs, for instance, a black girl rocks. Contact me probably about three or three, as long as they've been out, I had made some black girl rock earrings. And I put them on Etsy and black girl rocks contact me. It wasn't their logo, but it was their, they have the copyrights of Black Girl Rocks. So I took it down off my thing because I was thinking, you know, I could use those words. But a lot of people don't know that. A lot of them people had that stuff patented and copyrighted. And so I have a, a lot of my artwork that's copyrighted. And I'm always making new stuff and as I make them I'm getting them copyrighted um so with the, the library of congress so yeah they contact me so they it was their logo and Gucci also did I made some Africa earrings and it said Gucci inspired 
and Gucci contact me and say they have um the colors that I had, red, black, and green. But if I want to put Gucci inspired, it would have been fine. But yeah, they they contacted me a couple of years ago, so I had to take those down. So when, if you are an earring, a person that want to make earrings, be careful about what you do. Come up with some things. Even when the with the black girl rock situation, I put black queens rock or black women rock or black goddess rock. It's so many things that you can do that don't, you know, mess with someone thing. That's why when I did the bad and bougie earrings, I didn't use the way they spelled it like the, the little new way. I did put use the old bougie way. Um because I just didn't want no issues. So we yeah we want to deal with the trends but we want to make things our own. There's so many different designers that make earrings say I love my locks um I love my natural hair. Um it's so many different designers that make um you know stuff that's similar but creating and making your own you know it's so much more that i want to say but i want to make sure that i don't I, I just i'm not in the mode to be i can't use my energy i'm using like 16 minutes of my energy with the same situation that been coming up over the last 10 years and i'm pretty sure it's gonna keep coming up but i'm not speaking on it no more it's like the next people um i'm just gonna sue them <laughs> that's it i'm gonna sue them um, I, I did a couple of videos before about the situation and I'm pretty sure a lot of artists go through this and my subscribers and viewers and supporters and family, the one who contact me and let me know these, know this situation. Um, so I, inshallah, I got it. I got everything out. I know this video is all over the place. It's just that, that I got so much going on. Um, once I finish this video, I'm a tell y'all who the winners of these earrings in my next video and then i have enough um these earrings i'm gonna tell y'all who the winner in my next video and then i have a black business spotlight coming up i have two black business spotlights coming up well i have a black business slightly haul haul um coming up and then i have a black business spotlight on top, I have like three black men. I have a, it's so much going on with me. Um, it's like two o'clock in the morning, but I really want to do this video. I don't think I'm gonna edit it. I'm just gonna upload it. I don't know. I, I don't know. So um, yeah, yeah. Just if you, if you're starting an earring business, just don't copy people' work. You can be inspired. My inspiration is people these earrings i got on right here it was of a picture of a black woman i seen and i kind of made it my own i i it's, it don't look exactly like her but i looked at her and that's what these these right here came from and i kind of got my hair up in these knots because i'm curling it for um a couple of videos i just wanted my um, locks to be curled so and this is a shirt that i got from yes lioness y'all if y'all I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> yes, yeah, a sunflower. I love sunflowers. I got this, I think, a couple of years ago. It's a black business, so y'all check her out. So let me get back to what I'm doing. I'm like I said, I'm really busy. Let me knock some more of my orders out, and um, thank all my um, supporters that's patient with your orders coming to y'all because I've been like crazy busy. It's to the point I had to close my wholesale i had to shut my wholesale um custom wholesale down for a while i do still have my assorted wholesale open but my custom wholesale is closed because i'm just too busy so i have some more different videos that's coming up so that's that me but hopefully y'all get this video get what i was saying um i'm not gonna speak on this no more I'm not going to do any more rants about it unless it's just someone just, just being an asshole like the couple that I did about people, you know. So, um, that's about it. But if anybody that is doing hand paint earrings continue to, um, you know, go for your um, dreams, aspirations, move forward, 
but make your art yours make them yours there's so many people that's mimicking each other and if you if you're doing hand painted earrings please let let them be you let we can be inspired I, i'm inspired by so many people black women inspire me black people inspire me quotes inspire me um i just did some earrings with um maxine water said um reclaiming my time which a video is coming up uh, next about you know the uh, earring of the um week video so we people can inspire us but they shouldn't inspire us to the point that we want to kind of mimic they work like like it's kind of creepy to a point you know let me just say this and then i'm gonna be done with this video because it's getting longer and longer um michael jackson inspired a lot of people we could look at neo we could look at chris brown we could look at usher we could look at bruno mars i was just looking at bruno mars new video it was so michael jackson but guess what it was bruno mars you can tell michael jackson inspired these people i'm a crazy michael jackson fan i'm a crazy janet jackson fan um i got some cosplay that i'm gonna do of michael jackson that's coming up from the wigs i got a cosplay video that's coming up he inspired me and i'm going to create my own scarecrow version of the wig it's not going to look just exactly like him in a cosplay world you can create it um you can create cosplays to look um your own rendition or you can create it to look just like that person that's kudos but my thing is People can inspire us. I can inspire you all to start creating earrings, start creating art, start creating whatever. But I don't want y'all to duplicate my stuff. It's just kind of creepy a little bit when somebody just literally take. And then you know what? It's different sometimes. You know, you have a homegirl and y'all go and you get your hair done. She's going to go get my hair done just like yours. To me, I don't see nothing wrong with that part because that's like your sisterhood some women don't like that <laughs> let me tell you something there's nothing new under the sun but there could be something new in a person reality they couldn't they could never know that it was around before so if you never seen something like my earrings before it's to them it's like oh my god so we can inspire a person i'm sorry y'all i'm so tired I, I probably got like in the last three days i probably got like eight hours of sleep so i'm t I'm tired so i don't know i'm just talking probably crazy now let me just stop this video but um yeah so if y'all have any questions put them down below about the classes and i will do once i start um the videos y'all will see the videos spor sporadically um the ones that you can learn more about the art of hand painting earrings um it, and I, and like i say i will still do some d, d do it yourselves that will not you don't have to pay for but this is a way that i won't have to close my business down um that i can um still you know support myself and my family without people stealing my work and this is a way that i i, I just have to do it but like I say, those videos will be very professional. You will learn so much. And even my um, business class um, in person, I have private business. But I do a whole video about that. I do a whole video about that and y'all will see that. But as time goes on, y'all will see some sporadic videos. I even, I have a video that's going to come up and this you're going to have to pay for. And it's going to be a, how to make a, um, how to make uh afro african lady style earring it's going to be like an african lady and even and it will even show you if you don't know how to draw step by step of how to make her and y'all can sell them y'all can do what y'all want to do so a lot of those videos will come up soon but i'm probably just saying the same thing over and over so let me go all right so long so long